Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, what we're going to talk about in this episode is a lot of the rumblings that I'm hearing around the assault weapons ban in its final days. Is it going to pass? What are they going to do? Is it going to be malfeasance? I'm going to lay out exactly what has to happen if they were to pass this through the Senate. Everything will be linked in the description box below if you want to dive a little bit deeper. I'm going to say a quick word from established titles, and then we are going to hit it. The established title packs give you one square foot of dedicated land in an estate in Eddleston, Scotland, along with a certified crest like you see right here. This is based on a historic Scottish custom, which will allow landowners to become lords or ladies, and if you act now, you can be in the LOA little plot so we can have our own little fiefdom. This is a fun and novel way to preserve the woodlands of Scotland. They work with global charities, one tree planted, and trees for our future to support global reforestation efforts. You could officially change your name to Lord or Lady and get it on your plane tickets and also on your credit cards. This makes a great last minute gift and they have couple packs which you can get adjoining plots of land together. In order to give the ultimate conversation piece for that special someone, Established Titles is running a massive sale right now. Plus, if you use the code Langley, you get an additional 10% off. Go to EstablishedTitles.com slash Langley to support the channel now. All right, so as I mentioned in the, in the introduction, we are going to dive into exactly what has to happen and all of the hurdles that Schumer and the Democrats and Biden have to overcome in order to pass the assault weapons ban into law. Now, the reason I'm hitting this is because I've heard a lot of people, I've seen a lot of videos, I've heard a lot of concern around them rushing it across the finish line at the very last second before they adjourn and a new Congress gets sworn in. So like I said, everything is linked in the description box below, and please check out the secondpress.co. It is our new website. We are driving forward, and that is the next step, and I would love to see you on there and hear your feedback. But now let's get into this. I want to show you exactly what has to happen in order for them to do this. So as you can see on the screen right now, I've got the actual bill itself. H.R. 1808. This is the assault weapons ban of 2022. It is past the House. It is not even out of committee in the Senate. Now the important nature here is... You have to understand that when it goes out of the House, it goes to the Senate and it has to go into the committee system. When it's in the committees in the Senate, it has to either be voted out of the committee, it's right now it's in the Judiciary Committee, or a closure vote has to be held, which has to pull it from committee. Now, Schumer doesn't have the votes to do either one of these things, so it's stuck in committee. That's where it's been since August 1st. It passed the House on July 29th. So what you're looking at is a three-month stalemate on the assault weapons ban of 2022. Now, it's also really important to understand they have two weeks of legislative work days for the Senate left before <clears throat> excuse me, Congress adjourns. Now, when Congress adjourns, you're talking about a new Congress getting sworn in in January. When that occurs, every existing bill that has been passed by the House but not passed by the Senate dies. It doesn't go away forever. There's still a record of it, but it dies. It cannot be voted on by the Senate in the new Congress. It has to go back through the entire process again, initiating in the House, which the Republicans will control in January. That's the backstory there. Now, let's, let me walk you through what they've actually got going on. First, they have to pull it for committee, as I mentioned. In order to do that, you have to either have the votes in the committee or you have to have a vote above 50 in the Senate to pull it from committee. That's important. They don't have that. The next one that they have to do is they have to either one of two options. They have to hold a floor vote in order for this to become law on the Senate, which would, which, excuse me, which would require a floor vote of 50. Now, the only problem with that is they have to overcome the filibuster. At the end of the road of all of these scenarios I'm about to lay out for you, they still have to overcome the filibuster, even if they pull it out of committee, even if it passes committee. They still run into the filibuster. So in one scenario, you've got it coming out of committee and it goes to the floor, and this is all hypothetical, it has to overcome the filibuster of which McConnell and all the Republicans have said, that's not happening. They need to pick off 10 different Republicans in an election year runoff in Georgia and two weeks left in order to do that. The other option that they have is they can take a bill that they've already passed, strip out all the contents, and put the assault weapons ban in as a separate bill. like Basically the exact same bill that's already passed, and then they try it that way. Again, that won't happen because you have to overcome the filibuster for confirmation. The other thing that they like to do is they pull a Dianne Feinstein. They could attach the existing assault weapons ban of 2022 onto another bill. Jared from Guns and Gadgets actually made a video alluding to this possibility. This is an extremely long shot because, again, it still has to be confirmed by the Senate and you have the filibuster. Even if they put it on something as mundane as marriage equality or something like a budget, it still has to be either removed or voted on. 
And again, it has to go over the filibuster. This is incredibly important because as the nuance of the Senate works its way out, the odds are stacking against them with holiday season coming up, a runoff in, in December, all the Senate leadership committees, excuse me, leadership uh, votes are being held, and you have two weeks left in the legislative session. Now, like I said, and I alluded to, they all have to go towards the filibuster. If they're going towards the filibuster, they're going to hit that wall like they have been all two years of Biden's um, term so far and the existing Congress. Now, next thing I hear you guys saying, almost screaming through the camera, what if they get rid of the filibuster? That would require them to remove the filibuster with 50 votes. That includes Manchin, Cinema, who've already said they aren't doing it. We've been through this whole thing for two years now, including other Democratic senators who don't want to do it as well, but aren't, don't have the courage to say anything. This is incredibly important to understand because Manchin and Cinema have already put their flag on the ground. They're not moving. They're not budging. Everything that we're talking about is stacking against and against and against the Democrats' wishes and needs, and particularly Biden's, for passing this through the Senate before the Congress ends on December, I believe, I believe the number is the 28th. So that's important to understand all these different pieces. Now, <clears throat> let's see if I missed anything on my little notes here. No, yeah, so that's, I ran through it all. So where we sit currently, this bill has not budged. Every time Biden has come out and put forward a call for action, a call to pass the assault weapons ban. Every time there's a tragedy that has nothing to do with an assault weapon, he calls for an assault weapons ban. It's a knee-jerk reaction. It's something that they're doing because they have to say something. They have to put the pressure off on the legislative branch, which is the Senate, which is Chuck Schumer. It's still in committee. If it could get out of committee and they had the votes, they would have done it already. They can't. They aren't at this point. I wanted to do this video so I could lay out the entire groundwork and try to dispel as much concern as I could because this is where we currently sit. Withholding any extremely nefarious activity, it's not looking good for them to pass that. Again, I'm never going to say nothing can happen, but in this case, the odds are definitely stacked. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.